Most businesses have a tagline, a positioning statement or a payoff line. We don't. We have an ethos. And it's simple. Fuck the rules. Now, fuck the rules is not about chaos. It's not about driving down the wrong side of the road, for example. Fuck the rules is about tossing out the staid old marketing half-truths. It's about getting rid of old wives' tales. It's about going beyond standardised solutions. Moreover, it's about focusing on nothing more or less than the outcomes for the client. Doctors, accountants and marketing consultants all profess to offer solutions. But in truth, doctors ask questions, establish a recognisable set of symptoms, provide a standardised diagnosis and prescribe a standardised solution. And accountants, in much the same way, take a standardised approach to finding standardised solutions to standardised problems. Unfortunately, the same is true of most marketing consultancies, advertising agencies and PR firms. And as far as we're concerned, that's just bullshit. So here's the beginning of our guide to the bullshit rule book. A great advertisement sells product. Bullshit. Salesmen sell products. Advertising and communication in general create the perception of value and drive qualified inquiry, leaving to the salesman to actually affect the sale. It's all about the big idea. Bullshit. The big idea in particular, and the creative execution in general, are important, but only as part of the equation. And if the strategy is not right, even the best big idea won't achieve your objectives. You've still got to be in the West. Bullshit. There are still diehards out there that believe that advertising in mainstream newspapers is an essential part of an effective campaign. Whilst this is sometimes the case, more accountable online media is more cost effective and very often delivers much better results. A media release is worth three times a press advertisement. Bullshit. Measuring the impact of media releases is almost as ridiculous as measuring the impact of advertising on the basis of column centimetres. It is more complex than that, by far. Older Australians don't use social media. Bullshit. The fastest growing segment in terms of social media is over the age of 55. Over 70% of people over 55 use the internet regularly and 55% source new products online. Some 50% use Facebook regularly. A logo must have meaning. Absolute bullshit. What is the meaning of the Apple logo? What is the meaning of the Nike swoosh? A logo needs to be thought through strategically and bullshit design rules just don't help. Customers need to touch and feel before they buy. Bullshit. In Australia, some 6 to 8% of all retailing is now online. One retailer currently sells 10,000 shoes per month online. In Europe, some 13 to 16% of retail sales are now online, where there's no touching and feeling. Advertising agencies have embraced change. That's bullshit. Most advertising agencies are still dependent on commissions, reflecting the fact that they lack the IP. Focusing on selling intellectual property and therefore adding commercial value is the future for all consulting. The most important thing in marketing is branding. Bullshit. For some people, branding is critical, whilst for other businesses, it is much less important. The importance of branding needs to be assessed on a case-by-case -case basis. The future of advertising is bleak. That's bullshit. The only thing that is bleak is the future of any organisation that doesn't realise that the marketing and communications environment is changing at a hurtling pace. The future of advertising is as bright as it's ever been, given the application of science, strategy, creative and the highest possible levels of intellectual property. The world is changing marketing and communication just as it has changed so many other industries. I could go on, but I won't. You get the picture. Fuck the rules. Fuck the marketing rule book. There's only one rule that counts. Do whatever it takes to get the result for the client. And how do we do it? 